Hey you guys and girls doing today, Tim Sonal. When they hear y'all, let's get right into the video. We are doing a teaching tactics video where we go over a fight that I won and we talk about what we could have did better and what we did to win the fight. Like I always say though, if you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to hit that like and sub button down below because it helps out the channel a lot. But with that being said, we're gonna watch this first and then we'll go back and talk about it. You should be dead as well. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so the very first thing I do is when I hear his footsteps come up, I shoot the light out. And that right there is because sometimes if you're close enough to a light, people can see your backdrop or your shadow. I didn't want this guy seeing that I was behind this box ADS because then he wouldn't want to push this angle. So that's why I shot the light out. Then what I do is I immediately take out a grenade and throw the grenade. Now I do that for three reasons. One, because whenever you're fighting a scab or a scab AI, scab bosses like Tagilla Killer, the Goon Squad, Raiders, anything that's scab, if you throw a grenade at them, they're going to say a voice line. They're going to say Granada, Granada 2, well, you know, whatever scav say. So if it's an AI or a bot, they're always going to say grenade and they're going to run away. So by me throwing this grenade, number one, it tells me that this is a PMC because I didn't hear a voice line. Number two, it applies pressure on this player. If when I throw this grenade, it makes him want to either stay in the spot that he's at or it makes him want to back up, which then allows me to take control of the fight and put pressure on him and move around wherever I want to. And number three, when you throw a grenade and it blows up it muffles your footsteps for quite some time so that's when i use this opportunity to take high ground from this person because i want to beat him up top so we wait for the grenade to detonate we hop on top of this column and like i said my entire plan was and i'm happy i did this i was going to clear this right side real quick and then swing on over to the left side because i knew he was probably going to try to come up the steps and my goal with the guy down below was to beat him up top because in most games and most situations you always want to take high ground from people because you're able to look down on them and get an easy headshot where they have to look up at you on top of that when you're getting shot from high ground you can always just fall back and they have to push up to you and they're out in the open exposed if they're down below most of the time so i know that he can only come up these two steps like i said this person right here in this corner completely caught me off guard another thing too another little small thing i tried to hit fire right there because a lot of the times i bring in scopes that have wrong magnification i'm starting to correct that habit now but i eventually you know ads and i catch that guy off guard he didn't expect me to be there because he didn't hear me come up when the grenade blew up then i remembered that this other guy was going to be on my left side and could be potentially coming up the steps the mistake i made here though was overextending you know i have a habit of doing that i was assuming that okay maybe if i step over here he'd be afraid to come up but nope this guy he made the right play and he was ready for me he made the right play i don't know if that was his teammate or what but he came up and i was like holy shit you know this guy's getting aggressive because i just killed you know his buddy or someone else that uh, maybe he knew and i said okay holy shit and like i said i overextended he should have killed me right there but luckily he didn't and then I'm like, okay, let me wrap around right here. I was thinking about using a hemostat, but I said, I'm not going to heal because if I heal, he's going to know that I'm weak and he's probably going to want to push me. So then I turn around and to me, it sounded like he was all the way at that wall right here. When I peeked this first time, I don't see him. So I don't know if he's actually behind this generator just yet, or he's at that other wall. So when I think he's going to peek me on this other wall, all the way down there, I turn to the left and I pop a shot. And the reason I do that is because I want to apply pressure. I don't want him to think that he's going to be able to peek me from that wall down there or I want him to shoot back you know sometimes if you're holding an angle and you're about to peek it and then someone shoots at that angle you're about to peek you might want to shoot automatically because you get jump scared you think that person can see you so I was hoping to get a shot from him right there but he didn't shoot and then I swing again and then I see him pop his head up right behind this generator and yeah I'm able to aim in and get a headshot right there on him so the main takeaway from this fight is making decisions quickly using grenades to your advantage most of the time you're not going to use a grenade to get a kill sometimes they can and that's a bonus but you always use them for utility and taking pressure and uh, taking movement space and like I said number two is clearing your angles not overextending and trying to take high ground from people and uh, always applying the pressure always moving around and don't get Give the enemy time to heal up or time to think you always want to be the aggressor in certain situations because a lot of people are just afraid to move all right in this second clip we are on shoreline we get into a little engagement like i said i'm gonna let it play and then we'll go back and talk about it
We're both shit at the game. That's okay, though. Alright, let's talk about it. Alright, so once again, y'all, I say, you know, grenades are always going to be your best friend, man. When I hear this guy over to my left, the very first thing I'm thinking is that this guy has heard me. And if I run out into the open to my right, there's no cover in the middle of the field, and I'm just going to get shot in the back. So I think to myself, I need to fight this guy. So I get close to the rock so that way I can cut off line of sight. So if he does look down on me early, at least he won't see me right now. Then what I decide to do, of course, is pull out a trusty good old F1 grenade. I take out the grenade, and I use that as an opportunity to get on top of the rocks and try to get closer as i start getting closer to him he's smart he actually contests and pushes up and doesn't fall back this is smart now right here this is extremely risky remember what i said in the previous uh example it kind of contradicts it he's able to look down on me while i have to look up at him so if he was a little bit more cracked if he had a little bit better aim he would have instantly head shot me right here you know he, we were both whiffing shots like crazy maybe it was panic the one thing i guess i could say that i did correct in this situation is that i was able to close the distance a little bit and i probably took him off guard when he heard that grenade explode maybe in his mind he might have thought that i was all the way down the hill because you can see where he's looking right now he's looking where the last location he thought he heard me was which was down that little grass patch up there he probably didn't expect me to push up on top of this rock and actually close the distance on him so that's the one thing that we did right in this fight and then like i said we're both hip firing panicking like hell where you know we're hitting shots on each other we both got to reload it's that awkward moment and then this right here is probably the best part of the fight repositioning nine times out of ten in most situations you get in people are always going to look back at the previous position or the last position they saw you. He thinks that there's no way that this person's going to be able to move that fast. And I'm guilty of it. A whole bunch of people are guilty of it. You know, you, you want to look at the last spot you saw the enemy because you think, oh, okay, you know, in this game, you can't go two miles in two seconds. So he has to be in that same spot. But of course, we just do a little bit of repositioning loop on over to the left. I didn't want to take the obvious route and get on the dirt road to the left of me because he probably would expect that. So I said, let me stay on the rock and just go off on an off angle a little bit to the left while he's reloading and you know since he was panicking we're both reloading and everything he probably didn't even hear me move when he was reloading because we're both coughing and stuff or maybe he's coughing and yeah you know by the time he tries to turn around and readjust to me it's already too late i got you know bp in the gun i hit him in the chest and that's the fight so once again like i said main takeaways from this fight grenades are your best friend always use them as a utility and to take space uh, always be repositioning to confuse your enemy and not let them know exactly where you're going to be and don't be afraid to get aggressive and take the fight now like i said you don't want to be fighting on low ground most of the time because this could have been an easy headshot for this guy but you can do things that are unexpected that are going to throw the enemy off and by doing that you can capitalize and get a kill a lot of players are expecting you to be passive and not aggressive but that is it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think if you enjoy this kind of series. I like doing it. I like teaching y'all and I like helping y'all become a better player. I'm still learning myself every single day to try to become the best player that I can be. And just let me know what you like, what you dislike, if you think there's anything that I can improve on. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Simpson918 out of here. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Make sure to hit those buttons down below if you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.